In this video, I'm going to go through another example of using Prim's algorithm, and this time we're told that we need to start from B. Okay, so starting from B, I look for the edge of least weight coming from B, and so that would be AB of 2. We had the choice of 2, 3, or 10, so 2 is the least, so AB 2 is the first edge picked, and I'm going to shade it. Okay, so I know, I keep track of which ones I've got. Right, now we're looking for the shortest edge coming out of A or B. So we've got 8, 3, and 10. So 3 is the shortest. So that means that B, H is the next edge to be picked. And that's of weight 3. OK, so now we're looking for the shortest edge coming out of A, B, or H. Now, 8 won't be picked because that would create a cycle. OK, so 10 or 8 or 7 or 5. Clearly 5, so 5 is the next one to get picked. So G, H, 5. So now the next shortest weight coming out of A, B, H, and G. So we've got 10. 7, 8, or 10. So that would be the 7. So that HI will get picked next. OK, so the next shortest edge coming out of any of those uh, vertices that we've already gone to would be this 2, so IJ. So we'll pick that one. Then uh, next one out of all of them, so we've got the 8, 10, 10, 3, 1, 5, and 4. Uh, because now that we've connected J, we're looking at the edges coming out of J as well. Now B, J here, that will never get picked uh, because that would create a cycle. So we're going to go for the 1 here, so J, K. OK, so we've got that one. We'll never pick um, IK now because that will create a cycle. So the next shortest one um, coming out of any that we've visited would be CJ, I think. So with four. CJ with four. OK, so next one, uh, we've got nine, 12. We've got the five there. So I think it's five. So F. J with 5. Uh, we won't pick FG because that will create a cycle. So next one's going to be EF with 3. And then the only one left to connect is D, uh, which will be connected through uh, this 8, because that's the smallest of those three options. So DE with 8. Okay, so minimum spanning tree, total length. Let's count that up. So we've got 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 2 plus 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 8. So 40. So that's the minimum spanning tree's total length. And if I was asked to draw the minimum spanning tree for it, I will aim to. See how good this goes. Uh, that one then there's I, J, K's down here somewhere. Uh, C's up here, D's over here, and E's somewhere here. So A, B, C, D, E, F. G, H, I, J, K. All right, so let's run through this. We've got A, B with 2. We've got B, H, 3. We've got G, H, 5. We've got H, I, 7. We've got I, J, 2. We've got JK1. We've got CJ4. 
we've got FJ5. Okay, so notice how it's kind of growing outwards. Okay, uh, EF3 and DE is 8. So with crystals, we saw edges kind of appear. Um, so they could appear here, 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 and it slowly builds together. Whereas with Prim's algorithm, it kind of grows out um, from your starting vertex, uh, connecting vertices. Okay, so they work. Uh, Prim's and crystals work in different ways, and you can kind of see how they work visually as you uh, build up the minimum spanning tree.